Hey travelers, so tonight is, it's very late for me to be recording, it's almost 8 p.m. Pacific time in California, and what I'm going to do tonight is play some sandbox level of this game Zeus, which was from the 90s. I feel like I could totally play like on Olympian level, but I'm not gonna, I think we'll just go hero and see what that does. It's an open play sandbox, so it shouldn't make it that much harder. Anyway, I'm going to explain the game. It's a city builder, and you are in ancient Greece, and you have gods to worship and people to take care of, and I loved this game as a kid. I still love it as an adult. I've loved it like since it came out. It was one of the first games we owned on PC back when we had a family computer when I was a kid, and um, I have played a lot of the adventures and things and the actual like hard challenges and stuff, but I usually just enjoy a sandbox so much that I usually play it and I usually play it multiple times. Anyway, so tonight we're going to talk about where my channel is going to go for the rest of this month and January, touch on some things, and that will be the basic video. It'll just be basically a channel update and I hope that you guys enjoy it and I hope you enjoy spending a little bit of time with me while we play Zeus and I'll talk about my channel and things that are coming up this week and in coming weeks. So let's just go ahead and introduce this. Uh, nearly all of the gods collaborated collaborated to make the land at Olympia perfect. Demeter made the land fertile so that livestock and farms could thrive. Athena and Dionysus, or sometimes that's pronounced differently, sometimes it's pronounced um, Dionysus, uh, but I've never heard uh, Dionysus. I've, I don't know which one's correct. Anyway, made sure that olive trees and grapevines would be nourished by the soil. Artemis set loose some of her boar, and Poseidon stocked the waterways with fish. Even Hades touched the land, making sure that valuable ores rose to the surface. You are the luckiest of all mortals to be able to build a city on this land. To the city! And uh, now we'll turn off the music and the ambient sounds and the 3D sounds. And we will turn down the general sounds and we'll turn down speech as well and the ambient sounds. General sounds will turn down even more. Okay. So then this is the tribute paid by Ellis. Couldn't be accepted because we don't have anything to accept it. This is the sandbox. This is silver. This is meadows. This isn't one of those games that pauses. Like you can pause like this by hitting some of these buttons up here, but it doesn't actually have a regular pause. Okay. All right, and we have all this land. Here is marble. There's some more meadow, fish, water, etc. Now, I know from Sandbox that a monster invades over here eventually, so I usually start over here, and that's what we're going to do. So let me go ahead and start, and then we'll go ahead and talk about my channel a little bit. I'm just gonna draw some roads, and then you have aesthetic goals that you can also put in place. Here, you can build avenues and things like that. I usually build an avenue because it does create a more beautiful environment. Now on some things an avenue won't necessarily work. You can build a boulevard too, which is this thing. It looks like this. Anyway, so for now we'll just put down some houses. Um, we're actually going to want to take this slightly further away 
Um, there are some money cheats too. I've I have used them in the past, but I don't know if I will use them right now. Whoops. You don't really need to in the sandbox version. Okay, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can put more than that, but I don't tend to. And then I've always put a roadblock here and we'll put several roadblocks here. Just so that people don't actually go through this area. And then let's go ahead and put some more houses. This is always how I start my game. I've never started it differently than this. Um, for sandbox anyway. I start differently with the actual like challenges. And you can click and hold, but it doesn't always work. And then I usually put some parks in the center and some flower gardens and gazebos. Let's do another flower garden. There we go. And then we need an angora. You just need a common one for this. And you need food, fleece, and oil. And for a little while you can get away with only the food and the fleece. And then wheat farms are best. They need to be on fertile soil to be functional. And then you need a granary as well. All right, and then you also need these people to come around and inspect your buildings so that everything has a place. And then you can change the tax rate and it'll change how many workers you need see but I always keep it at normal and then see and you can change how many people are working or I mean how many industries are working like you can set the priority for everything it weights it out pretty evenly on its own though and then you also need someone to go around carrying water and with this one, the gods will show up frequently to bother you. I mean, mostly they just want, they want you to worship them. I'm going to bring a road out here because we will eventually need one. But I'm not going to put anything out there right now. And then eventually there'll be um, food. If you want, you can put some more people out here. But they won't get the things that you need. Like, they won't have food available to them and stuff. Okay, so we need one of these. This is a storage facility and we need it to accept wine and olive oil and then you limit that because each thing takes up four. So each thing takes up four. One, two, three, four. And so it's four of one thing. So you can do eight as long as it's four, but I always just do olive oil and wine for 16 each on this one. 26 workers needed. When's the harvest? The harvest is in July and it's January, February. So you can um, kind of short circuit this a little bit by having a couple of different types of food. Um, I don't usually uh, at first because the more food you have, the more people you need. So let's go ahead and we can go ahead and put some more people right here. But we are going to have to line this path with roadblocks so that people don't come through here. Now, I don't think that that's what you have to do. Whoops. But it's usually what I do. The lining with the roadblocks is usually what I do just to prevent people from doing things you don't want them to do, from going where you don't want them to go. Okay, so then my channel is basically going to have an awful lot of Sims 4 content coming up. Like, for example, the video on Wednesday will be Sims 4. It'll be an apartment building or something like that for the new pack that's coming out on the 7th, which is 
called For Rent, and I've watched some gameplay of it, and I'm really looking forward to it. It looks like a really fun pack, and I think that a really fun pack is a really good idea right now for me, for my channel. Um, partially because I just have a bit of a struggle with, um, it's a bit of a struggle for me, personally, to constantly come up with content because you guys seem to want Banished. And I think that's great. Banished is great. It's a lot of fun. It can be really hard, but it's a lot of fun. And so I do think it's great that that's what you guys want to see, but at the same time, like, I don't want to just play Banished on my channel. I want to play a lot of other games, and I want to play a lot of Sims, and things like that. So, personally, it's important for me to try and keep some stuff to be more, to have a little bit more diversity with my channel. Okay, so then now that we have some workers, we've got food, and Athena is now visiting. And this game is very old, so I, to me, some of the graphics have stopped working entirely on it, even though I'm very thrilled to be able to play it. It is thrilling to be able to play a game that you loved growing up. It really is. But again, like, there's a lot that goes on with whether or not a game is going to work. Alright, so then I'm taking these columns and blocking out some of this area and that's partially just to create some aesthetic quality because you can do this with walls but I don't want walls right now. Alright, good. The fishery is working. The city doesn't have enough food. And I get that. That's fine. Okay, we need a carding shed. So, anyway, so what I'm going to do is, okay, so we're going to have some content for For Rent from Sims 4 on my channel Wednesday. So it's an apartment building that I'm building specifically for For Rent. And then on that coming Sunday, now we can accept the wine tribute. On that coming Sunday, uh, on that coming Sunday after that, so a week from today, We'll have another Sims 4 video that's about for rent. Then in the weeks coming up, in the rest of December anyway, hey look, we reached a population milestone. Sometimes when you reach a population milestone, they give you a, a monument to place, but they didn't this time and that's fine. Let's go ahead with a winery, an olive press. And that means we need olives. When people don't have enough food, they do leave. They do abandon your your town. Okay, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, like I said, Sims 4 for rent content up uh, Wednesday and then Sunday, and I'm then going to probably try to spend the rest of December going between Sims 4 builds, a uh, random builds for the most part, and builds I have on my list that I really want to do. So between those builds and between the for rent content okay so it's really important to me and if you're um, not enjoying my content because it's so Sims 4 focused just understand that it's a new pack that's out it's a new pack that's out and I'm really really happy about it I'm really looking forward to it um, I think it looks like a lot of fun right now we're placing an infirmary uh, I think it looks like a lot of fun, and it's also something that I think will be really interesting for my channel to go through, which is like uh, being a landlord in The Sims 4. I don't know. just sounds neat to me, and I've seen a lot of content, and it looks like fun to me at least. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go between that and builds that I'm doing for Sims 4 for December. Sprinkled in for December might be some Dreamlight Valley on my PC. Now, it's important to note that Dreamlight Valley on my PC is extremely far behind where the game is at now, and extremely far behind where my game on my Xbox is. Let's delete all these open messages. 
extremely far behind, okay? So any content that you see on my PC will not be the new expansion pass. I have, I have every intention of purchasing it, but I only want to purchase it once and then I want to help my sister purchase it. I have no desire to purchase it on both my Xbox and my PC. Now they said the PC will be shareable, the purchase there, to other platforms, but they haven't explained how exactly or what that looks like or what that means. So I just don't have any intention of purchasing it on my computer. But it will be, the Dreamlight Valley game on my PC will be fully updated. It just won't have access to the expansion pass. Uh, and I don't record off my Xbox or anything, so you probably won't ever see my current game. But that's alright. So I might sprinkle in some Dreamlight Valley. There will definitely be a lot of Sims content this month. Uh, and then in January, something you guys are looking forward to, in January we're going to go ahead and have, um, going to place another wheat farm. In January we're going to go ahead and have an entire other season of, um, Banished, okay? That's the plan for January. We're going to have a whole other season of Banished. We need another Grower's Lodge. There aren't quite enough of them. I actually didn't realize I didn't have any at all. So we'll put two. It's fine. Um, so for January, we're going to go ahead and have... That's Zeus visiting. See, the graphics are all messed up. We're going to go ahead and have Season 2 of Banished for January. We will also, of course, have other Sims 4 content and whatever else I decide to play during the month of January on my channel. I do want to do Jurassic World Evolution 2 for you guys and a handful of other games that I've never played, that I own, that I've never played, like a little to the left and a handful of other things. On my channel, on my community tab, I will go ahead and repost all the games on Steam that I own so that you can go ahead and weigh in on what ones you'd like to see. That's really important to me. I'd like to get your guys' feedback. I'd really like to hear from you. I'd like to hear what you want to see other than Banished because that is on the list that we're going to have a season two of Banished in January. But yeah, so I'd really like to... Oh, I just realized we don't have a, a thing for the fleece. That's why we don't have fleece. Okay. Why we don't have fleece is because of this. So let's go ahead and put this one over here. And we'll accept flea 16 of it anyway. Uh, anyway, so... Because they should have a lot. Yeah, they should have some in storage. 400 fleece, so... It's being transferred now. Yay! Okay. What is our employment? We have five people unemployed. So let's go ahead and get the college. And the podium. And then over here, let's do the gym because they're going to have fleece and soon which means they'll have we'll have a little more housing yeah good job okay so anyway during january we'll have season two of banished where i'm going to take some advice i got while i was playing season one of banished we might even have season two of fable dumb if anyone's interested in that um, and we'll have some um, Sims 4 content in January as well. And then going forward with my channel, I do intend on having more frequent polls about what you guys want to see. But I do want you to understand that Banished is on the list. We're going to be playing it again. We'll be playing it in January. I'm not going to play it every single month, though. I am going to play other things. I would like to hear from you guys about what you want to see. I don't play shooters, though, so that's very important to note. Um, that's just not one of those things that I feel comfortable with playing. And I probably will never feel comfortable playing shooters. Let's put an infirmary over here. Take out some of these trees for an infirmary over here. You just you want people to be healthy and well. And then I think we're going to go ahead and accept olives over here. Because I'm not sure they'll give us olives if we don't have any way to accept them. I'm not sure they'll just drop them off here. Because this thing can only take a certain amount of olives before it can't take any more. So. Alright, so then we do need to start exporting things. Let's go ahead and get some more fleece going. 
Uh, let's go ahead and do the fleece. Carding shed. Um, I think we should maybe start a line of them right here because this is a thing we want to export. Another one. Just we want to export this, so it's important to have as many sheep as we can get. Okay, I'm gonna do that and have you guys accept. And then have you, and all you're gonna do is accept police. Actually, I think you should only accept 12 because we do want to trade that fleece. And then we can go up to wine and down on olive oil because I don't think we're gonna even have 12. But yeah, okay, cool. So olive oil is being made now, which is great. We need 98 people, we're gonna hit save. All right, so do look for, out for, look out, <laughs> look out for my community tab having polls about what you want to see. They buy fleece, Thassus does. Who else does? Ellis does as well. Okay. Trading post to Ellis. Trading post to Thassus. Cool. And we will sell fleece. And then we'll go ahead and put this hedge maze or a fish pond. Ooh, there's a population monument. That's what I meant about that being a thing. So let's put that there. And then let's put some parks and a bench. Golden Fleece Theseus Hall. And that's here with the immortal stuff. And this needs access to a palace and some other things. I can't 100% remember what. Heroes Hall for Theseus. Wall. Let's go ahead and make an avenue though as well out of this little road because it'll help with um, it being pretty enough. And then we'll put some benches in, accept the wine, some appeal around the hall. Demeter is visiting. All right, you can see the appeal. So we'll put some gazebos at every corner. Good appeal. All right, we need marble, which is a big deal. And we need a couple of other olive presses, like that's gonna become important. I guess we'll put in a couple of other growers lodges, just one more actually. And then we'll go ahead and assign this to olives. And we're gonna have you guys accept only 12. No, 16 is fine. I think we're selling all our fleece on accident. Here, let's put this monument right there. And we need to not be selling all of it. So let's go down to three each. But at least we're bringing in some money. And then we can also sell a little bit of wheat. Okay, anyway, um, that's the Zeus game. It's a city builder, like I said, and this is how it works. The ish isthmian games but i can't send anyone because we don't have anyone for it uh anyway so that's that like i was saying about my channel we will have banished season two in january this month we will focus on sims 4 for rent which is the new pack that's coming out which might be sprinkled we might have some sprinkling of dreamland valley um episodes we'll see there'll also be some more sims 4 builds uh I don't know whether or not we're actually going to get back to our uh, legacy challenge this month, but we'll definitely will get back to it next year no matter what. I hope you enjoyed seeing this strange game from the 90s that was a city builder that I loved with all my, <laughs> all my heart. Um, I hope you liked seeing it. I enjoyed um, putting it together for you. Thank you very much for watching. If you did, I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed my weird rambling. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them as a comment to this video. Please look out for polls as well on my channel because there will be some. Right now I'm just putting down colleges and podiums and other culture related things and yes we need more workers oil vendor there we go and we'll put a gazebo right here and we'll put a flower garden right here 
and we'll put a fish pond right there. They just, they need aesthetic stuff. I don't know why they do, but they do. Okay, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a good time. Um, Hades is visiting us now. I hope it's okay that Sims 4 is going to be the focus for all of December. January will have banished Season 2, and we'll also do some Sims 4 content in, in January as well. This month of December, we might have a couple of Dreamlight Valley episodes. We might not. It might just be a Sims 4 month. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please check out my community tab. It tells you a lot of information uh, quite often about my channel and where things are headed. Thank you so much for my new subscribers. I'm so thrilled to see you. Um, please start liking and commenting on my video though, guys, videos though, okay guys? I mean, I really, channel-wise, we need likes and we need comments. We need interaction from all of you. So thanks so much and I hope you enjoyed seeing Zeus, the city builder from the 90s. Thanks. Bye.